Um, I would say probably middle school. I kind of, you know, you take classes in middle school. I had an art class. I really liked it. So then it came time for high school. You have to take electives to kind of fill up your schedule. So I decided to take an art drawing class and I kind of picked up my techniques from there. And then I would say um, getting autographs has started about two years ago. Why sketching? Because I know in art classes you learn a whole bunch of different techniques like painting and maybe sculptures. Yeah. Why do um, you sketch? I don't know. I just think I kind of like the sketching because it was quicker. You had less materials, so it was just kind of easier for me. Uh, what made you want to start doing them specifically for athletes? Um, so I always go to Colts training camp down in Anderson with my dad every year. And um, three seasons ago, I kind of got a Colts jersey sign, and I thought it was cool. But, like, the crowds are real big, so I kind of was trying to think of something that would kind of make you stand out so you can get your autographs easier. So that was like um, when Andrew Luck was starting to get real big. So my very first one that I did was Andrew Luck. And um, so he kind of held it up. It took about 10 seconds and he noticed it right away and said it was like really cool and asked if I drew it. So then it kind of just like escalated from there because I thought it was so cool that he complimented me and everything. So that's how it all kind of got started. So success with Andrew Luck. Yep, and that was, that was my one. very first one. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, did you even ever use athletes when you were in high school and stuff to even um, start? Or No, I actually just kind of did like celebrities or like bands that I liked. But yeah, so I never really started doing athletes. Andrew Luck was the very first one I did. What's it like seeing their reaction for him to really kind of see something like that and get excited about it and then start complimenting you when you are such a big Colts fan and watching um, every Sunday? Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, usually when they're just in like settings like that, they don't really say anything to anybody. They just kind of quickly sign, but it's very cool when they'll stop, kind of take the time out of their day to say like, good job or compliment you. It's very, very cool. So Andrew Luck was number one. How many would you guesstimate that you've done since then? Um, I would probably say 150 to 200. Wow. Maybe it's not that many. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's quite a lot, though, in two years, yeah. too. Um, what's kind of the typical reaction that you get, even just from across sports? Because I'm looking right now, and I see different teams, different sports, uh, coaches. What's the normal reaction? They're more mostly like, wow, like, is that really a drawing? Like, did you do that? Like, they don't believe you. But then they, you get kind of get closer to it, and they can tell, like, it's a drawing. Some people think it's a picture of them. Who's the What's maybe your favorite reaction? Um, I would probably say Robert Mathis. He wanted to buy the drawings off of me right then. I got two of them signed first time I met him. He just wanted to buy them from me right then. That was the first time you met him, so what has happened? In um, so then after that, he, um, he kind of uh, followed me on Twitter, and then he sent me a message, got my email. We kind of exchanged emails back. And uh, long story short, I ended up doing, it was like a three foot by four foot picture that I sent him. And then he traded me, um, the jerseys back there, but he traded me like a Pro Bowl signed jersey for it. It was pretty cool. Have any other athletes done that since? Um, not a jersey. Um, Fran Mill from Fran Mill Reyes last year, he gave me a signed bat for a drawing last season. Very cool. Um, how long does it take you for each? drawing? Um, usually typically anywhere between 5 to 15 hours depending on the amount of detail and the size of the picture. And this isn't your full-time job. Can you just kind yeah. of explain like what you do? Um, so I'm an x-ray tech at Summit Pain Management. It's kind of work full-time so it's kind of what I do. Why kind of keep it up and you've done so many so it seems like it's a year-round thing not just during the cold season you do this year-round. Yeah. Why stick with it? Um, I think I just get in a, like adrenaline rush when I go to get the drawing signed. I don't know, I'm kind of addicted to it, I guess. Not a bad thing to be addicted to. Right. Um, so you were talking about how Framiel gave you the bat and stuff like that, and Tin Caps are probably the more unique team that you've done drawings for. Yeah. What's different in their reactions where they're not really celebrities yet compared to Andrew Luck and Robert Mathis. Right. So I always think that's cool because they just don't expect it because most people just go around with baseballs or like the team programs. So they're usually blown away by it. And uh, usually if their parents are in town, they'll see it and 
this season I've had parents just buy drawings off of me. And then I've had parents um, go out of their way and contact me to get stuff drawn and then they'll pay me for them. So I think that's very cool. So now it's kind of like turned into like a part-time yeah, gig. Yeah, so I kind of make money on the side, you know. So that's cool. Um, who haven't you done? Who's maybe like a, on your bucket list of um, athletes you'd like to meet and draw? I think since my husband's a Packers fan, I would probably say Aaron Rodgers. Just because I think he would really like a signed drawing of Aaron Rodgers. Um, and speaking of your husband and your friends and your family, I mean, mm -hmm. you said that you started going down to Anderson with your dad. What are their reactions when they see you get these autographs signed, you get all this kind of recognition? Oh, they think it's cool. I think my dad's pretty proud. He always likes to, like, because he'll sit in the stands and kind of watch me, you know, get my drawing signed, I think. And he's always got a smile on his face, so I think that's cool. I just think they like the entertainment kind of seeing. And what, what kind of got you into sports? Did you play anything in high school? Um, yeah, so in high school I played basketball and softball. I went to Northrop. So, I mean, I kind of grew up with my dad watching Cubs and Colts games, so I've just always been into sports. What sort of places do you go to meet the athletes and to get their autographs? Is it always at signings or is um, it? So, I go to training camp a lot. Um, Every October, I think it is, the Pacers hold a fan jam, which is a free event, and the players sign autographs after that, so I get a lot of Pacers autographs there. I go to Tin Caps games a lot. Um, we have some paid signings in Fort Wayne, and then I go to Indy a lot for, like, signings. And just kind of, so we have it on camera, can you rattle off the top of your head the different teams that you've gotten autographs from? Um, okay, so Tin Caps, Colts. Packers, um, Pacers, who else? I mean, I have a lot of variety. Um, I have Bulls. I have some Notre Dame players. Um, I have some IU. I just got Yogi Ferrell a couple months ago. I would say that's probably the majority. Yeah. Are you fans of all these teams or some of um, them? Mostly it's just I'm a big fan of the Tin Caps, Pacers, and... Oh, I do the Cubs, too. Okay, so Tin Caps, Pacers, Cubs, and Colts are my main teams. Yeah. Is there anyone you would not do a, sketching, a sketch for? I would never do the Patriots. Never in a million years. And why is that? Just can't stand them. <laughs> I'm a Colts fan, so they're <laughs> big rivals. Would never do Tom Brady. Not or, even Tom Brady? Nope, or Rob Gronkowski. Can't stand them. Even Edelman, he's nope. so charming. Nope, nope. can't stand him. <laughs> oh man, how do you sort of find the time? Is there anything that kind of comes up that it makes it hard to get the sketches done? Like how do you um, whittle out the time? It's not really that much struggle to find time because I mean I work a pretty solid schedule during the week and my husband's still in school so when he's studying I just kind of draw to kill time while he's studying. And where do you do your drawings? Is there some sort of like mad art studio in here? Um, I actually just draw from my living room. I have a drawing table just set up out in my living room and I kind of watch TV and draw out there at the same time. So this is just kind of like everybody has a hobby and yours just happens to be one that um, makes you stand out in an autograph right, line. Right, right, exactly. How long do you see yourself doing this for? Um, at least until I, me and my husband decide to have kids, because I'm sure after that I won't have as much time. But I'll still, you know, kind of find time to do a couple here and there.